Well, we have reached the conclusion of the High Plains Regional Finals here in Loveland, Colorado. And as the number eight pick draw comes to a close, we get to crown our goal plus high point roper of the weekend, and that is Clay Corzine. He roped a great all weekend long, and he wins the high point goal plus package by one point. So congratulations to Clay Corzine. We also crown our Cruel Girl champion for the weekend, and that is Mary Bunker. She had a great showing in the 10 preliminary with her partner, Clay Keller. So congratulations to Mary Bunker for being the Cruel Girl champion out of the High Plains Regional Finals. Now let's talk about the number eight pick draw and see who's the champions, who wins big, who gets the belt buckles. That's what it's all about, belt buckles and money here in this number eight pick draw. We'll break down the short round, starting with the number 16 team back. It's the 16th high back, Ricardo Ruiz and Carly Wellen. Now this team right here is a 31-53 to qualify to the short round. If they can rope the steer in 11.32, they would jump to the lead of the roping, and, and that's what they do. They are 10-19 on a clean run right here, putting them at 41 and 72, and they're number one. We'll go to the 15th high team back. It is Greg House and T. Satterfield. They're a 31-19 to qualify to the short round. They need a run of 10.52 to go to the lead. And here's what happens. Greg House gets this steer caught and T. Satterfield, look at this guy, pulling back on two feet, 839, brings their total to 39 and 58. We'll move all the way to the fifth high team back. It is Josh Clarkston and Terry Groves. Now this team's 2361. They've got a lot of time to play with. 1596 or better will take them to the lead of the Open. Josh Clarkson out of Greeley, Colorado gets him caught. The Kersey healer Terry Groves comes in on the backside and it is one hind leg, but they're gonna be 906. We tack the five on, they're 1406. 37, 67 takes them to the lead of the Open. The third high team back, it's Barbara Franzen. Her partner is Chris Swanson. Now they're 22-34, a 15-32 for this team to go to the lead. Barbara riding a great head horse right here, gets him caught, turns him out, and then to the backside, Chris Swanson heals him, but plus five again, we're plagued with legs. Plus five, they're 16-72, 39-06, and they are second, and we'll go to the high team back. Possibly the team of the day, Paulette Ohato and Kyle Linhouse. This team is an 1873 to qualify here. They've got 18 seconds to win the rope and almost 19 seconds. 1893 is what they've got to be better than. Paulette Ohato gets the steer caught, moves him out, and Colin House on the backside plus five. But they are 1206, bringing their total to 1706, and that is enough. And it's always good to have enough is enough. They're 35 and 79. They are the winners of the number eight pick draw. They win $4,612. They also get trophy guest buckles. Congratulations goes out to Paulette Ohato and Kyle Lynn House. Let's go to Brandy Clements. She's with our winners. Paulette, you just won this eight shootout. So tell me on your, your high callback, yeah. what's going through your mind as you back in the box? I just didn't want to miss my best friend and my partner that I was roping with and there was a lot on the line I just didn't want to miss well so tell me about that you girls are best friends what are, how do you know each other we grew up together in Pueblo Colorado and um, moved away both of us and then our paths crossed again and then all of a sudden we became best friends later in life and we have a breeding business together and she's my best friend. Well, do you think that makes a difference when you're roping together with somebody you know that well? Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. More pressure, <laughs> sure. <laughs> well, so how do you handle that pressure? I don't know for sure. <laughs> Apparently pretty good. <laughs> I handle it pretty good, I guess. <laughs> it did work out. Well, what about Oklahoma City? Are you girls headed to Oklahoma City? Absolutely. I'm normally a healer but I'm gonna head for her in the all girl in Oklahoma City, yes. Well, it looks like it worked out good. Do you girls practice a lot together? We have been, yes. And actually, I have a broken tailbone and she has a messed up back and it was kind of amazing that we won this roping. <laughs> so you're both roping with injuries? Yep, mm-hmm. Apparently that's how we rope well. 
<laughs> well, good job. Congratulations on your win. Thank you. Okay, Paula told me you girls are best friends. Yes. And she told me all about the pressure of roping together. What's your take on that? You know, I know that she's always going to be able to take care of me no matter what. I knew right then on that run that she was, she had a little bit of rope there, but I knew that she was going to hang in it no matter what. So I love her. I, I think that she's always going to be there for me, and that's what she did today. Well, tell me this. You girls are high callback. You knew what you had to be. You back in the box. Walk me through that run. You know, when we left, the steer was nice. I went a little longer down the pin. I knew Paulette was going to make that commitment to rope it, and as soon as she did, and went off a little long, and I thought to myself, just as long as you can come around there and stick a leg, we're going to be good. When they read the time, I thought, oh my gosh, we used every bit of that, so 18 seconds. <laughs> but it worked out good. It did very well. Well, now, as good as you girls know each other, does that make it easier to rope with? You know, I think that we, we have a partnership and, and we feel confident with each other and no matter what run it is, what steer it is, or what our horses are doing, we always know that the other one's going to make sure that we follow through. Super. Well, she said that she's got an injured tailbone, you've got an injured back. How did this happen? Well, you know, we have that breeding business and we're both working hard at right, breaking the weanlings and whatnot. And so we've been kind of roughed up this last week. We're open and practicing and breaking weanlings. So. But it's what it takes. So, Well, it worked out great. You girls are definitely instrumental in this. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Well, congratulations to best friends here today, taking the top honors in the number eight pick draw, Pauletto Hotto and Kyle Lynn House. They win it all right here today, and they get those beautiful trophy belt buckles by Gist. Well, folks, thank you for tuning in to the final spin. We've enjoyed hosting you right here at the High Plains Regional Finals. Stay tuned to the final spin for complete coverage of what's going on in the world of team roping.